guys welcome to my channel um, John here I hope you're having a very good day my beard is a little bit of a mess and um, that's because I'm gonna do a beard review um, as you all know I absolutely love this company um, that does this one it's my all-time favorite one I've literally just ordered the long hair version of this like the longer beards because my beard's starting to get a, a decent length to it now. Um, still in the adventure, still in the snake venom. Um, yeah, so absolutely love that. They put out a Halloween range, um, and that's one of them. So, focus in on that. Please focus in on that. Please, 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 please. Yeah, that's one that looks like a nice spooky little place and then they also have this one which is the one that I'm about to review I've got focusing on that one come on focus 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 thank you so the last two were both hydrating um this one I love the fact this is in a nice black tin Normally, as you can see, they're in silver tins. They're different sizes as well. Um, as you can see, it's smaller than this one, is smaller than that one. Um, these tins are slightly different sizes, but they are both the same size. They're both 30ml. 30ml is the, the usual kind of size that they do. Um, they do do a 50ml 50, a 50 one. Um, but usually it's, it's 30 because that's a, st a stack an ounce it's a standard a standard weight for beer thing and this is vintage rose and oud um, and it smells just like Turkish delight <laughs> which is what the rose smells like because Turkish delight is rose flavoured so it smells just like Turkish delight which for me is brilliant because I love the smell of Turkish Delight. Um, I'm not sure the texture of it because it's largely brand new. I've only had it a couple of weeks and I haven't used it yet. So this is like live testing. Um, it is perfectly smooth. Yeah, that is. That's all I'm going to use, just a little bit there. And that, just, just doing that bit to it, just really kind of brings it into... That's just lovely. Nice melting of the hands. I say melting, not emulsification, because apparently um, Dan C. Bearded um, a few weeks ago um did a video where he um admitted he was wrong he'd always used the term emulsification when he was talking about um going from the solid to the liquid he'd always called that emulsification and apparently one of his viewers um kind of told him no it's not emulsification it's actually just melting because when you think about it, that is all you're doing. You're just melting it down from um, the solid into a liquid state. That's non-greasy. And that's what I've used. That little scoop there. Um... I can smell, you just get, you just get the oud coming through, um, it's not as strong as the Kingsman oud, um, and it's not as strong as the oil oud that I've got from them in the past, um, but you definitely get the the incense-y kind of oody smell to it. Um, 
which is really nice. It's a brilliant combo. Um, it's going to be sorted. Yeah, those, so you get, so you got something quite, um, I don't know how you can describe the oud, it's not, I'm not bitter, whereas the, the, the rose is like a sweet smell, it's like savoury, it's not really savoury or bitter, the oud, it's, um, a con it's definitely a contrast to the sweet. That works really well. Um, I'm going to be doing this now for the next week or so until uh, possibly next Thursday or Friday. Well, Wednesday, Thursday, sorry. Um, cause like I say, it is now um, almost 3 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, the 3rd of October. Um, so yeah, the, the the rose is really powerful in it. That's all I can smell. That is, that is amazing. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be having this on like every day or every other day or most like four out of the five kind of days out of the week. Um, probably won't have it in on Sunday because I normally go completely um, product free on Sunday. Um, so yeah, this is, this is going to be a nice one to use, this one is, I will do an update, possibly on Monday if I can, if mum's gone out and I can get the, the place to myself, if not it will be Wednesday, like I say, Wednesday, Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, Thursday evening, something like that, um, I'll try and upload this as well, as soon as I can, once I've done it so that my friends over at Barber's Bay, which is where I've obviously got that from, um, I did buy it, they didn't give it to me, they didn't give it me anything, they, I did buy it, um, yeah, so I'll upload the so they can, they can have a look at it, but yeah, so far I'm really impressed, it's, it's a very, it's a lovely smell, it really is, um, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next part, somewhere there. One week later. Okay, well, um, I've had it in, um, this particular balm, the, that one, the Oud and Rose and whatever. Um, it's been, I've had it in like... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, and today, Wednesday. And it is an incredible balm. As it states, it is hydrating. Um, my beard is really soft at the moment through using this. Um, I co-washed my beard on Sunday, uh, which is why I don't put any products in on Sunday, because I like to have it fairly clean. Um, co-washed if you know what that is it's basically just washing with a conditioner um, and then I put this in like the one day when I got up um, and it's just really hydrated my bed it's a bit bushy at the moment because um, I've been lying around and everything but yeah I'm super super impressed with it it smells absolutely amazing it's possibly like my second or third favourite smell um, ever as in from my beard bombs all together um, my number one will always be yeah the yeah, adventure scent in the snake bite which I now also have a new tub of in a blast little black one this is for extra long kind of longer hair 
Um, it's more slide, I think, because it's got a different carrier oil in it. Um, so it's not quite the same. Um, I think I prefer this one, to be honest. Um, but it's the same base smell. Um, but that's going to be a whole different vlog altogether. But to talk about this one, as I say, it's like really nice. Um, the, the Snake Venom one being my first favourite smell. Um, possibly Oud on itself is my second favourite. Either Oud or Tobacco, one of the two. Um, and then you, you've got this, I mean this is Oud, but you don't spell the Oud as like a strong Oud. It kind of just enhances the rose. Um, no, it's it's really cool. It's a it's a lovely smell. It smells just like Turkish delight, like I said before. Um, but without it being like sweet Turkish delight, the oud kind of kicks in and it kind of makes it more more kind of incensey than just a basic kind of rose scent. Um, how much have I got? Like, I mean, I've, I say I've used it like six out of the last seven days. And I've used, so I've used quite a bit of it. You can see that it has been used quite a bit. I still got quite a lot of it left. Looking at that, that'll be enough to last me in another couple of months, possibly. Um, but it's a really soft balm. You don't have any struggle to get it out of the tub. Um, smells lovely. Awesome feel in your beard. You know, you just feel like you've been looked after, like you've been pampered. You know, it's it's an awesome feeling when it's in your beard. It's not greasy at all on your hands once you put it in. Um, some like, oils like, will leave your hands feeling a little bit greasy. Some balms will do the same thing. Some butters will do the same thing. Um, but this is just not greasy at all. Um, I don't know what else I can say about it, really. It's just, altogether, like I say, my second, second or third favourite kind of product that I've had. Certainly the second best that I've had off Barber's Bay. Um, and I've had quite a lot of different products from different companies now. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I don't know if it's a limited edition, I know that the design is, I know that that design is a limited edition design, I don't know if the scent will be limited edition as well, or whether they will continue the scent, I'm not entirely sure, um, we shall find out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I don't know if you've enjoyed the video. Um, been lot the two linked in together, kind of thing. Um, like, share, subscribe, do the buzzer, um, do the bell, whatever it's called, and do all that. Would really appreciate it if you did. Um, I'll see you all in another video. Bye.